In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the error cannot start the PS5. This is when it's stuck in safe mode loop and I'm going to show you how to fix it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is press the power button on the PS5 and hold it and wait for two beeps. This is going to bring you to safe mode. Now what you're going to need is your controller and you're going to need the USB cable plugged into your PlayStation 5 and then plug it into your controller. Press the PlayStation button and this will bring you to safe mode screen. So once you're on safe mode, the first thing you're going to want to do is option number three, update system software to ensure that your system is using the latest firmware. After you've done that, we're going to go with option number four, restore default settings. This is going to essentially bring it back to square one when you first got your PS5, just in case any of your settings could be causing the issue. Once you've done that, we're going to do option number five, clear cache and rebuild database. Going through both of these options only takes a few minutes and it's going to ensure that your PS5 is running smoothly. Now at this point, you're going to want to test and see if your PS5 works. So go to option number one and restart your PS5 and see if it loads up for you. If it doesn't at this point, you're going to want to go back to safe mode and from here, we're going to select option number six, reset PS5. Now this option is going to delete everything on your PS5 as if it were brand new. And unfortunately, this is kind of your only option at this point, as all the other steps haven't worked. Now at this point, your PS5 should work. And if it's not in that case, I would definitely contact PlayStation support. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.